The Department of Labor released a dismal September jobs report on Friday, showing that employers only added 194,000 jobs, which was well below the 500,000 that was predicted. Now, the Biden administration tried to spin the report in a positive light, with Biden touting that the unemployment rate was below 5% for the first time since last year. But upon further review, data showed that 183,000 people had dropped out of the labor force in September, which skewed unemployment numbers to be down further than what they were. Conservative economists and lawmakers are putting the responsibility for the underperforming economy squarely on the shoulders of Biden. They have pointed to the fact that some Americans are still satisfied to receive benefits that will come as part of the Biden's proposed budget as part of the problem. Experts are also putting some of the blame on the pandemic fallout, with some not returning to work out of fear of contracting the virus and others because they don't want to be forced into receiving a vaccination. Now, FISM founder and host of Financial Issues Dan Celia also commented on the labor participation numbers, refuting some analysts' claims that the drop in job numbers is due to retirees and the baby boomer gener generation. Take a listen. 230 odd thousand people on Friday was reported left the workforce. In other words, they disappeared again. I mean, I'm listening to analysts using the same reasoning that they used in 2009 and 10. So they're saying the same thing. Well, you know, people are retiring. This is the baby boomer generation. When you look at the numbers, you know which age group it is? 20 to 24 is the biggest group of disappearing out of the labor participation. Go to FISM.TV slash news for more.